When working with an HDXL or an HDX system in a sound grid network, with a DigiGrid DLS, with a built-in SoundGrid DSP server, or a DigiGrid DLI, your recording and playback processing still happens where it always has in the past, inside Pro Tools HD. And Studio Rack acts like any other DSP plugin. All plugins within Studio Rack run in real time, and processing, as long as you're in SoundGrid mode, goes from Pro Tools HD to the SoundGrid DSP server and back again within 0.8 milliseconds. Before we jump in to record some tracks, one thing that you need to make sure of first is that all your instantiations of Studio Rack are set to the DSP version from the usual drop down at the top, like any of your other DSP plugins. This is important, as otherwise communication between Pro Tools and SoundGrid will not be there. Also, before we jump into recording, we need to make sure that we've assigned some I.O. channels to be used by Studio Rack. This is done from your I.O. setup window in Pro Tools. Make sure you know which I.O. the DigiGrid DLS is, as they appear in your system as digital 192s. Now, to finish setting up a track for record, create an I.O. insert first, then add Studio Rack. Make sure the voice or voices, if it's a stereo track that you assign to Studio Rack, are the same ones you created for the I.O. insert a second ago. What I did to make it even easier for myself was I created a Pro Tools session template that has I.O. inserts and instantiations of Studio Rack created on tracks and ready to go. That one, though, is up to you. A good thing to note here is that the plugin effects you're hearing in Studio Rack while you're recording do not get printed to the track. You're always recording it dry. And that way you can change those effects whenever you want without any fear of it being printed to the track. If you want to check on any latency within an individual plugin within Studio Rack or the entire chain, click here on this arrow and the information is laid out for you to help you work faster. At some point in time, we usually want to be able to send a session to somebody else. And in this case, it might be somebody that isn't on a SoundGrid network. Doing this is easy. First, you save a copy of the session file. And in the new copy, remove the I.O. inserts, then hit Save again. All of the plugins in the instantiations of Studio Rack, providing that they have them all in native or SoundGrid mode, will come up in Studio Rack for them the same as they do in your original session. Another thing I like to do is have all of my instantiations of Studio Rack aligned. This way you can either remove them all, make them inactive, or activate them all at the same time with the same options shortcut you use for all your other plugins in Pro Tools. Happy recording!